Welcome to Rubber Bullsky TV. I'm here to get a haircut at Bongo's. Stay tuned. That guy's cool. cool. He's a great teacher. Yeah, very good. And I finished it. I'm here. How long you have the show? So, uh, this month is going to be our third year. We're mm -hmm. so blessed. Yeah. It's going to be our third year, and we're so excited. Um, we're going to, we all taking a trip on a boat. We're closing the shop for two weeks. And we're going, no, I'm just kidding. I'm about to say, man. <laughs> I'm about to say, where my invite? I'm just kidding. I wish. Where my invite at? Now, we just chilling. We just doing what we do best. Yeah. Got hair. Yeah. I, I like the vibe of here, though, man. Like, what, what, where'd you get the name Bongos from? So, it was a good friend of mine and I. We came up with the name. I mean, if you can look, that's what Bongos means. March to the beat of your own drum. March to the beat of your own drum. So everybody's special. Everybody's unique. And everybody's accepted over here. Yeah. This is my your race, your sex. Your gender, your color, your yeah. anything, anything. You are accepted over here because you're a human being, first of all, yeah. but also you're created by the same God that created me. Yeah. Okay? So we are a family. Yeah. And I like that vibe, man. Because I tell people all the time, I say, I come in here, man. Like that Saturday, I, I came in with like 8 30 in the morning. Yeah. And I came in here and I said, I was like, man, I said, you got men, women up front. And everybody do a, a good job cutting in. Yeah, we've been uh, very blessed to have a very good team. Um, very talented people. Yeah. My God, you know. Um, we're, we have women, we have men, we have, we have all type of races, uh, you know. And, and so everybody feels... Feels at home. Yeah, feel at home. I feel like home, man. Yeah. yeah. It feels like home. So how many barbers you actually have? So right now we actually we are nine people, uh -huh. and 
Yeah, nine people, and uh, you know, we started with two people. Uh, it was his skins. Yeah, the guy beside me, great guy too, amazing. T, T Grizzly. Yeah, he looked just like T Grizzly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and man, it was uh, it was very bad because like we would be packed over here, and it was only two of us. Uh -huh. But man, you know, God blesses with more and more people, yeah. and it's not just barbers. He's a people with amazing vibe. Yeah, amazing talented vibe. barber. You know, yeah. and you know we can now take a little bit easier now because we have the support of all these rest of the guys over here. Yeah. All right, so you already ahead of the game, man, because I've never been to a barbershop that had nine people cut hair. I mean, y'all got a full house. And the good thing about it, you might come in here, it might be a lot of people in the chairs, but it don't take that long. Like, you're not waiting for help. And especially, you know, you can also make your appointments online, so keep that in mind, all right? Yeah. Avoid the line. Uh, avoid the line because sometimes you come here, it'll be a wait. It will be a wait. Um, yeah, it would be very blessed nice Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for this year. This year is going to be the best year of Bungos. Yes. yes. Best year. We claiming that. 2020. Yes, sir. 2020 is going to be a very year. An amazing year. An amazing year. Yeah. I know I had people ask me, like, well, how, did I, how did I meet you? And it's crazy enough because I met you through my other business with the um with the movie now. Yeah. The um, trips all around because I actually bought uh was it a washer and dryer from us? Yes. Yeah, bought a washer and dryer. No, from I us. went on the uh on the jar sale. Oh yeah. That Saturday. Yep. At your house, remember? Yep, and I met you over there. Yeah. Like what like three years ago. Three years ago. Like right uh, before you first started. And then yeah. you were telling us like y'all should come check out my my barber shop. And you down. And you, and you know, it's it's hard to, you've been going to some people for so long, and I guess you just tolerate. And I say, you know what, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try something new. And I haven't had I've been here ever since. You know, man, you have all this money and all this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I, I, w I wish I had it like that. One day. 20 you don't have to have it. See, that's the thing about life. You don't have to have money, money to be happy. You're right. You want, listen, you want everything to go right. You want everything to go right. Read that. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness. That's what God says to you. You want everything to go right? Seek him first. Seek him first. Seek him first and he'll put you first. He'll put you first. There's nothing wrong with that. I have the pleasure to work with Mr. Mo right here. Uh, Mo's Barbershop. You, you guys go and check him out. He knows what he's doing. Those guys are very talented over there too. A real man. Yeah. Have, real have man. A, he have a business, but he's out here shouting out. Oh man, Mo, that's, that's, Mo, that's, Mo, Mo's a man. That's I like that man. Um, it's like you know, you can't keep all the money to yourself. You can shout other people out. Exactly. So, what makes us different is that I think we are as a barbering. Barbering is a world factor, right? Yeah. And everybody might do things different, but we cut hair. That's what we do. Yeah. You know, we come to work and cut hair. Yeah. And I think we are the same at some point, but at the same time, we're different. I know I'm going like around and around because what makes different is what your barber do yeah. that day. Because as customers, I believe that. Everybody has a burden, right? And yeah. sometimes coming to the barbershop, you want to release that. That's release that. You know, have a and great conversation. Because I remember one of the first times I actually came here, you, um, you did the hot towel. Yeah. And then you um, you hit me with the massage. And you was like, man, you need to relax. He said, this is your time for somebody to do something nice for exactly. you. Exactly. Exactly. You know, and I think I think we are uh, we have a very good industry, especially in Greenville here. You know, we have a amazing barbershops around, and I know that everybody do, they do their best. Yeah. Over here, we just do our best. We just give you our best. Yeah. So just like everybody, I know for sure, because I have this here, several barbershops, they do their best. So what makes us different is the feeling that you get when you come in. Yeah. You're gonna get a good service, you're gonna have a nice conversation, and you're gonna leave better than you came in. Yeah. So that's what we aim for. You, we want you to be better than what you can. Amen. You know, to be a better barber, I think we can be a little bit more organized. Yeah. Maybe, maybe more together mm -hmm. as a family because this this industry is beautiful, and if we try a little bit harder to come together as a family, you know, in this industry, I think we can do better. And I got a couple of things in mind, you know, 
I want to, I want, I want to get this thing to where no men want to get it, but where God wants to get it, because God wants the best for us. Yeah. In not the bad, you know. So maybe get togetherness is get more together is what we can do better. better. Yeah, get more yeah. together. And we need it too. Yeah. You know, because ah, uh, it, you know, it's, it's very stressful to feel like you're distant. Yeah. You know, like. You know, oh, we are over here in this little island, but and everybody you're over there. Is over there. I, mean, I don't want anything to do with you, you. but uh, we just we need to figure out how to bridge that gap. Yes, bridge that gap. So if you're a barber, you you live over here, and you and you watching this thing, man, let's work together, man. Let's get this field better. Let's make this industry the way it's supposed to be. Let's make it better. Make it better for us. Let's make it stronger. We want to make sure that. More people get to know our shop. Yeah. More people is familiar with our shop. But also, I want to be sure that everybody over here is taken care of too. Taken care that of. Everybody makes enough money to to do whatever they want in life. Yeah. Even though, even though if he doesn't include bongos, because as much as I love them to be over here, and as much as I want to be with them. You want to with I love them so much that I'm open to make them be who they want to be. If they have dreams yeah. and that doesn't include bunkums, yeah. I'm down for it. What you so what time do you open? We open from 8 to 6. The last walking we take it at 5 15, so be aware of that. But if you make an appointment, you make an appointment. We're willing you. But yeah, 8 to 6, Monday to Friday, and on Saturdays we close at 4. <clears throat> Morning, how you doing, sir? You have Sunday hours? Uh, we open the first and third Sunday of the month, yeah. So there's a barber shop that's open on Sunday, y'all. You don't get Sunday. that too often. From 12 to 4, though, open, so. You don't get that often. Good. Yes. Hi, Jackie. This is one of our barbers. She's Jackie, she's one of our barbers, an amazing barber. Hi, Jackie. Hi. <laughs> I love it over here. Oh, man, it's cool, man. So what time everybody else start coming in? Nine. Nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock, 9.30. Some people, like, she lives 45 minutes away, and she still come to work. And I was told that y'all have a client that comes from Virginia Beach once a month. Yeah, I think it's a, a skins uh -huh. uh, DJ's yeah, custom. Yeah. yeah, once a month. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, that makes it that, two that's, and a half hour drive. Yeah, to get a haircut. Yeah, that's awesome. So listen, a lot of people over here can do that fade. Nobody got my accent though, so <laughs> I'm just saying. Nobody got this accent. Because uh -uh. usually when I'm talking, I'm talking to say something. <laughs>
You guys are welcome to go to Bungos and come to Bungos anytime, man. This is your home. I treat you like family. Yes. We treat you like family because you're family. You good, man? I appreciate you, man. That's it, guys. Come to Bongos. Rubber Bosky out.